Question 21. 34% of our students got this question correct on the mock exam. Which statement about the quadratic functions below is false? Hmm. So they're giving me three quadratic functions. And when I see the word quadratic, I should be thinking about parabolas. So I've got three parabolas right here, f, g, and h. And they want to know which one is false. So that means three of these statements will be true. And one of them will be false. All right. This one's going to be a tough one because they give you three different functions. The first thing I'm going to try is I'm going to put all three in my calculator and see if I can reason through it. So negative 3 fourths x squared plus 6. Okay, here we go. Negative 3 fourths x squared plus 6. That's the first equation. And then negative 2 x squared minus 5. That's the second one. And then the last one, 1 divided by 4, x squared plus 1. So the tricky thing about this is I need to make sure I watch which of these graphs, or the, the, the three graphs that come up. The first graph that graphs will be this one, and then this one, and then this one. So here we go. Here's the first graph. Here's the second graph, and here's the third graph. So first graph, second graph, and third graph. All right, here's my first answer choice. The graphs of two of these functions have a minimum point. So minimum point means the vertex is going to be the lowest part of the graph. So this graph right here has a minimum because for this graph, this is the lowest point. So this graph has a minimum, but for these two graphs, this and this is a maximum. So it looks like we got lucky. The answer is A because A is false. But let's test out the other ones. All these other ones should be true. The graphs of all these functions have the same axis of symmetry. That's true because the axis of symmetry for all three graphs is the y-axis. They all reflect across the y-axis. The graphs of two of these functions do not cross the x-axis. This graph right here never crosses the x-axis because here's the x-axis. So this graph never crosses. And then this graph also never crosses. The only graph that crosses that x-axis is this one right here. All right. The graphs of all these functions have different y-intercepts. That's true. Here's the y-intercept of the first graph. Well, not the first graph, but one of the graphs. The other graph and the other graph. So all three y-intercepts are different. Um, so that is true. And the one I, the answer I wanted was the one that was false. The only one that was false was A. The graph of two of these functions have a minimum point. 